Okay, guys, so. Um, I want to talk to you about this new craft that I've started. Um, I started it thanks to Cindy Utter. I'm going to link her video in the description below. This is the video that got me all started. I've wanted to try rhythm for a while. But she did a video showing how easy it is and now I'm hooked. I also have started to subscribe to Artsy Mad Woman who does resin. She, does, she puts flowers and things in her resin. So I'm going to link her below as well because she's just started out on YouTube and she's a massive hit and you know if you are interested in doing resin and stuff she's really fun and yeah she's inspiring. So I just wanted to show you some of the pieces I've done so far. So these, uh, let me grab the mould. Ah, so I've got some curing in there. Um, they should be ready to pop out tomorrow, so I'll show you those. But this is just a second like ice cube tray. Um, because it's got like a matte finish, the pieces come out matte. Um, I actually think that works really well for this particular piece. Um, and this one with the holographic sort of thing going on. I think that looks really cool. So I just wanted to test today some acrylic spray. Uh, this one. To see if it would give the resin a good shine. And it does. Um... I think this one would have looked better if I'd have left it frosty, but I did just want to test that spray. Um, there's a lot of bubbles in that one actually. I just noticed. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Anyway. And as well as these, I'm going to turn these into little pendants. Um, I've made this coaster. I'm a bit upset about this heart because it kind of bled all over. I was trying to push these hearts out of the way of the piece but they kept flowing back to the middle. I know what I've done wrong. I'm still, like, this is my very first, these are my very first pieces so they're not perfect but um, I think it's an awesome little coaster, my baby. Um, I'm doing another one right now so yeah, lots of fun. Um, and I wanted to show you actually, if you are interested in getting into resin or you do do resin, um, let me zoom out a little bit so you can see this. This is awesome. Okay, and I'll take it out and I'll show you what you're getting it. So you get these little shakers, or little tubes that have got different things in there so this has got little stars in. We've got a yellow one with stars and these are like solid stars and green stars with glitter and there's these little hexagon shapes in purple, gold. We've got hearts and stars. And more hearts and bits and bobs. So, get all those. Which are great. All adding into pendants and things. And then, this blue stuff in the background is these polystyrene balls and you get all these in here and obviously the blue pack which I've opened and used so I've put that somewhere I'm not quite sure where I've put that now <laughs> and then the way I did these is with these and it's 
like little bits of plastic that are sort of iridescent and you just put that in. Could have probably filled the mould up a bit more with those to completely fill it. And then it would have been really you'd have had loads of colour and stuff in there. Um that doesn't get um and then you get all these beads. You get these little, they're like stones, glass beads sort of things, but they've not got a hole in. Um, and you get coloured ones. And some red ones. Um, and clear ones that I've put in this tub because I've used some today. I will pop some pieces out tomorrow to try and get that on camera so you can see what all these bits look like. Green ones, get the white pearls, um, get some purple ones, purple pearls. You can put those on a necklace if you want to, and then you get. All these little pots of glitter, which are not on the floor. <laughs> there you go. And then you get these, which I was just, oh my god, these are gorgeous. So, I used these today some pieces so you get these like little ladybirds in there teddy bear faces cat faces dog faces little frogs so cute teddy bears in all different colours look at these cute little fruit slices ah oh, cute and then Little flowers, I didn't use the flowers today, but oh, lovely, gorgeous. And you can put all these in your resin and get different effects. So, as I say, I'll try and pop out some pieces tomorrow. But this whole kit was like five pounds, and to be honest, I'm gonna. You can use this for mixed media as well. You can probably use the polystyrene as texture. And you've obviously got your glitters and your bits and pieces. and It's just so cute. It's the cutest thing ever. Um, so yeah. And where do you buy these? B&M. Okay? So this is B&M. Grab a slime kit, um, I mean you can put these in your mixed media, you can make necklaces, you could take out the bits that you want and send the rest to your friends, you know, this is going to last me forever, these gorgeous iridescent flakes in different colours, I mean, well worth the money for me. Um, so yeah, if you want to start doing resin and you need some cheap bits and pieces to go in it, as I say, that's going to last me a long time. Let me see. Ah, this is the blue one. That's how much I've still got left and I've done two coasters. So it's gonna last me ages, although it's a bit annoying because they get full of static obviously. So I need to buy some tumble dryer sheets. Um so yeah. Um anything else I wanna say? Uh don't think so. So yeah, as I say, in the future I may do a resin video, but it will be speed through because 
have to wear this very attractive thing. <laughs> I need a bit of cleaning. So yeah, I'll see you. I'll join back with you tomorrow or in a few seconds um, and show you some pieces coming out. Okay, so we're doing with demolding. Um, this is the the resin that I've been using. Um, if you visit their website, um, I did find them on eBay, but it's cheaper to buy straight from their website. So that's that. Um, okay, so these are not fully cured. They've been sitting for about twelve hours at least. Um, I think this one's been about twenty-four, but. Peel off the excess, and then I'll just get some sandpaper on that to flatten it, and then I'll spray it with the acrylic spray to bring out the shine. That's really cute, and then I did another one exactly the same. glitter seems to be in the face on that one now. So I might have to do that one again. <laughs> okay, so that, that one. Uh, which one next? Let's do these pendants, I think. And this is just a swirl of resin coloured with eyeshadow and white ink. And some glitter. Cute. Um, and we've got some stars and some glitter. How this one will turn out is too much in the mould, so I'm going to sand it down. Oh, that's okay. Cute. And this one was using, it's got quite a few bubbles in it, this one. Um, the pearls, or what they're called, perfect pearls powder, pigment powder, and some of those sequins. And this one's just got some little flowers in it. This one's got perfect pearls again and some of those clear beads. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, very nice. Uh, 
what shall we do next? Have the flowers. I'm going to leave that one in because I can add to that one. Different colours and things. My own embellishments for cards and things like that. Very nice. Oh, how pretty is that? This is just leftover I had of that perfect pearls. Gorgeous. Let's try these snowflakes. I'm not sure if these are going to work because the mould is really fine. Oops. Oh, so as you can see, it didn't quite get into this part of the mould, but that's really pretty. I can use it. There we go, lovely. I might need to sand the edges a little bit. Get it nice and flat. We'll do that once it's fully cured. There's a few bubbles in here and there. Now these ones I am um, uh, dying to see if they came out right. I painted the details in first with a different colour resin. Oh my god, that's amazing. Oh my god, I love it. If I should spray that with the varnish, it does look awesome. Oh my god, sorry, I'm just staring at it. I mean, love it, I love it. I would definitely be doing that again. Yeah, so you colour the little bits in a different coloured resin and let that cure for a little bit, a couple of hours, I think it was about five hours, and then added the glittered resin on top and same with this one oh. I do love cameos Bit of white spillage, but that doesn't doesn't bother me. That's oh, 
Oh. <laughs> okay, it's ready to cure now. Um, <coughs> um, stunned. Okay. I just... You know. Stuff on my desk. <laughs> Ignore that. Just cool. I mean, you can do things that are <clears throat> excuse me, like funky and modern and you can do like artistic pieces. You can do traditional pieces. I just the details of this. So yeah, I'm trying to close up with this one. This one's just uh... I'm definitely making more of these. I might even order some more. Yeah, I'm going to order some more of this mould. I do have some more moulds coming. I'm kind of obsessed now. Um, <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Um, so, I look forward to maybe a little bit of resin uh, stuff in the future. Um, and if you want to see anything in particular, let me know and we'll do a little, almost tutorial, but I'm not, I'm, you know, it's new for me, so don't expect miracles, but yeah, we can learn together if you like, I'd love that. Um, so yeah, do comment below if you want to see anything in particular I um, may have to do learn how to do voiceovers because as I say I've got a weird silly mask not silly mask but safety mask <laughs> so these are going to cure for 24 hours now and I wish I didn't have to go to work so I could play some more but I do so <laughs> thank you so much for watching guys um, if you're interested just subscribe to my channel and all that good stuff and we will I was like yeah, hold in that one. Oh my daddy goes this is a air bubble and it's gone. It's a hole. <laughs> oh and they Oh they've all got them. So I might have to drop a little bit resin in there to fill me up. <laughs> it is very strange. Uh yes, yeah, so thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.